This is ANN News Brief. The Ethiopia's Amhara region has arrested five persons suspected of burning down four mosques as rising intercommunal and ethnic violence threatens political reforms initiated by Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed. The president of Hamara's re uh, regional Islamic um, council said the attack in mortar was uh, unsuspected and that businesses owned by Muslims had also been burned and vandalized. A regional spokesman, Gannet uh, Yesau, said in a Facebook post the five were suspected of leading and organizing the attacks. Yesel also said that a church in the town of Mota, 377 kilometers north of the capital Addis Ababa, had been targeted in an arson attack. It was unclear who was responsible for that attack. Abi Hamid condemned the violence on Saturday and said he would not allow extremists to tarnish Ethiopia's history of religious tolerance. He urged citizens to reject hateful agendas. French forces say it has killed 33 uh, Islamist militants in Mali on Saturday using attack helicopters, ground troops and a drone near the border with Mauritania, where a group linked to Al-Qaeda operates. French authorities say the raid about 150 kilometers northwest of Mopti in Mali targeted the same area where France wrongly claimed last year it had killed Amado Kofa, one of the most senior Islamist militants being hunted by French forces in the Sahel. French President Emmanuel Macron announced the operation in a speech to the French community in Ivory Coast's main city of Abidjan, describing it as a major success. The Malian authorities have welcomed the success of the raid. The government says the operation against terrorism must continue. We'll be right back. Whether in your house, at your office, on your phone or online, we are there. We have the fact behind the headlines. We cut to the chase with the news you really need. We cover every angle. We are the bigger, better news network. We are African News Network. ANN. Watch ANN News on MITV from a truly African spirit. Rwandan President Paul Kagame has asked leaders to fulfill the obligations and address the problem of people living in high-risk zones. Relocating people from high-risk zones has generated debate in Rwanda, with some using it to promote their own personal agendas. During his State of the Nation address, President Paul Kagame elaborated on the problem of people in high-risk zones and how it should be solved. Moving is never easy, but when you consider the problems of living in a marshland, the flash floods and so on, we must commend the government for this. The one thing we ask of the government is to fulfill its promise that it will follow up on us and build new houses for us. It has promised to do it, so we are not worried. We only have to wait until what we agreed on is implemented. There are people in two categories. The first is that of people who should move or be moved having lived in areas that are supposed to be lived in, had the proper documents to do so, but those areas have been found to have certain problems. That is ANN News Brief at 1. For details on these and other breaking stories, visit our website, annafrica.news. Conversation continues on our social media platforms, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook at ANN Africa TV. I am Lucy Ademi.